Hey what's up guys it is Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD and welcome to another HD tutorial and this tutorial is going to be uh, a piece of freeware that I found that will convert any video file or any media uh, video file uh, to be imported into iTunes and put directly onto your iPod. Uh, so here's how you do that. First of all uh, I'm going to put this link in the description. It is another DVDVideosoft.com piece of freeware and uh, the freeware is just updated. Once you click on it, you'll be able to download uh, this particular uh, piece of freeware that I'm showing you. And uh, once you finish downloading and installing it, you will come up with this uh, free studio manager right here. And uh, in order to download the video to I excuse me video to iPod converter, just go ahead and click it, and it'll open up uh, or begin the download and installation process uh, without you having to do much work. So it's going to go ahead and go to the direct link and hit the download now button. And in a second, so here we go, we can go ahead and hit that run button and the download will um, start up and we'll uh, be on our way to installing the free video to iPod converter. So I'm going to exit out of the internet browser in the background here and exit out of the uh, the studio. So I'm actually going to come back to you guys once this is done if it takes a little while to open up. We'll see how long this one takes. And actually it's already almost done. Uh, so we go ahead and hit that run button here because we do in fact trust this .exe file and uh, should um, should your Windows Vista prompt come up you know saying do you want to allow this software or do you want to deny it obviously you hit allow for everything hit the next button hit the next button and I'm just going to disable these two hit next and install and uh, the installation should go pretty quickly it's a, a pretty small piece of freeware um, but it's a very simple and very powerful one at that. So once this is done installing, your free video to iPod converter is ready to run. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go open up that free studio again that we downloaded in the first place. Uh, so let's just go ahead and exit out of Safari and go ahead and open up that studio. Here's the studio. And you'll see that option that was grayed out before, number 14, is now uh, darker and you can now click on it. So this is the free video to iPod and PSP converter. Converter, Yes, this will work for PSPs. And here you go. So the first thing you're going to choose is your input file. Uh, this can be a QuickTime movie, an AMI, an AVI, a WMV, any, any media file that is in fact video that you want to put on your iPod. So I'm just going to go ahead take a random WMV file. WMV files usually are not able to be uh, put onto iPods. Um, and you can always trim this if you want. You can cut down, cut it down to 13, 14 seconds. It's your little, your little video editor here. This is my old introduction video. So once you have, uh, you've selected the file you want to put on your iPod, or your device actually, you're going to go ahead and select an output folder. So I'll say final for the output name and your output folder, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my desktop. And then you're going to select your device. You can select an iPod, an iPhone, your Apple TV, your PSP, or your mobile phone that supports MP4. So let's just go ahead and say we're going to put this on our iPhone. We'll click iPhone. It'll uh, select our iPhone preset. You can uh, select iPhone high quality, standard, or economic. I'm going to go ahead and put it on high quality. And we'll hit that convert button. And there we go. It is going to begin to convert that file and it's going to put it on our desktop like we said. And uh, it doesn't actually take that long. If it is a larger file, it'll take a little bit longer. But the conversion has already been completed successfully. So I'll go ahead and close it. Exit it out. And here we have the final intro video, the MPEG-4 that will work on the iPod that used to be a WMV and that we can now put on our iPhone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this free tutorial. This is a little piece of software uh, about how to take any media file or any video file and put it on your iPod or uh, PSP. I hope this helped. And if you have any other questions or tutorial ideas or requests, feel free to subscribe and send me a message through YouTube. I do read all of my messages, and uh, you might get a request video done for you. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Peace.